Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, for those that showed up for the stream on the weekend, I apologize for the terrible internet. It hasn't been the greatest lately, but last few days it hasn't been too bad. Uh, I am planning a special live stream in, uh, up in the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to give any details about it because nothing's been confirmed yet, but uh, it's definitely one you don't want to miss. But anyways, uh, Donald Anderson had suggested something about putting an observation top deck up here, and that's what I did. Uh, then I realized a few things about this. One, it starts moving really fast. That I can't actually get in or out of this because it's moving so quick. And even though the hover pads are only moving so slow, I've tried with one, I've tried putting the wheels back on, I've even put the wheels closer, and uh, the problem was, as soon as the hover pads became parallel with that block, right there, it would just come to a sudden halt. And there was another issue I noticed too, and it was because of the fact that I used posts instead of actually doing small blocks the whole way. You see this car is down, this car is up, this car is up, this car is down. And I started thinking, well, maybe if I had taken the other ones out, but it's the same thing. These two would be higher, and this one would be lower. So I could have gone with the middle and just had a few blocks here, but the speed is a bit of an issue. I don't really have any other way to slow it down except for adding a ton of weight to it. Basically start putting more posts and eventually decorate this whole thing. You gotta weigh it down. It's like a, that is a distributor I made. I don't know how much weight I put on that thing. I had a solid block on there, a huge block. But anyways, uh, there was a few different things I wanted to do for this episode. I actually started working on a Rube Goldberg machine. Uh, things didn't, weren't really working out the way I anticipated. Uh, one, I couldn't really decide the mechanics I wanted to use. The mechanics I was using weren't really working out as well as I expected. And I sort of basically went in blind and tried to figure it out as I went, but that didn't work out too well. But Anyways, uh, lately it has been extremely hot and humid here, and working in a very hot and a very, very, very humid shop all day doesn't help much. Gotta like how that thing just suddenly stops, and it's because the top of it is outside of 100 meters. So as soon as one block is out, it stops, and these things just start flipping out. But if I go up and we go towards it just a little bit, there we go, starts going again. It's going. And it stops. Should stop. There we go. And it stops. And that's just to make it easier on the code. But anyways, yeah, as I was saying. So you can even see that one up top. That one there isn't moving, but th this one is. Because this one's closer. I actually can't wait till we get the blueprinting in. I want to bring, bring my tank back and I want to fill the skybox full of rails. Make a big giant pegboard in the sky and then fly up to it like, like in the Matrix and just watch them all drop to the ground. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, it's hot. Uh, I want to go out in the water and I do believe there should be a huge patch of water here. And what I want to do today is I want to build another boat. Uh, which way am I facing? I want to face this way. Uh, if you remember from last season, uh, near the end I had made, uh, it was right around, shortly after I made the second pinball table, I think, I ended up making a speedboat. A little speedboat, it wasn't the greatest. Uh, I was just using basically floating foundations with hover pads underneath it. And they were just basically creating force, and it was actually working out pretty good. But it, and I've been wanting to redesign it using air blades. So that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to try with air blades. Uh, originally I was trying to thinking of doing an out of cockpit control where you just hit a, turn on a switchboard and it starts going forward you turn another switchboard on or off to turn left or right or whatever but then I started thinking about it well maybe like you probably wouldn't get as much speed just having it use, using the hover mode and even then uh, the hover mode doesn't work if the air blades are sideways and they're always going to automatically want to right themselves because of stabilization. So it, having out of cockpit experience would only work with the hover pads and probably wouldn't work as well. But since we can get 50 kilometers an hour with the small air blades, at least we used to get 72, uh, maybe we can get a little more speed. But it's gonna take me a few minutes to get there. I'm gonna 
put the old autopilot on and by that I mean stick a screwdriver in my keyboard and hold down the W key and I'll bring you back when we're there. Now this looks like a good strip of water. I had a little bit of scanning along the way and didn't really find too much until I got here and as I thought it looks like it's a huge amount of water here. Uh, put two scanners on here or two radars just you know balance and whatnot. So here we are. Uh, I actually have to make sure I got everything I need. Uh, reinforced plates, fabrics, the only thing I really need is the green circuits. So let's go ahead and grab some of these. Uh, what else do I need? So one thing I don't like is the fact that stuff doesn't auto stack. Like, not necessarily that, but I'm sure I've got, there you go, two stacks of frames. Or two stacks of plates that could be one and yeah so let me uh let's actually go out here and see what we can do first let's see how deep the water is we are going to need a little bit of depth so we'll probably go to about here to build it thank god we don't have to worry about piranha or anything not yet anyways all right this is a good spot right here all right, so we're going to start by putting our our jack in the ground. Yes, I know it's not a jack, but you know I know I'm not the only one that doesn't actually use the jack. Just use whatever block works. So now, uh, if you actually saw the, the original boat I built, uh, what I did was I took floating foundations, and I might actually move this up a little higher just so we can have more room to work with like so and I'm not gonna fill it in just because it's gonna be taken apart anyways uh, let's see yeah, let's make sure we're facing the water so we'll go up to there now I'm thinking almost thinking maybe we should go a little bit bigger bigger of a boat so if I do something like this I wanna at least hide the air blades at least like right here but then if I do that, actually, you know what? Let's try it differently this time. Let's try, let's try coming out of the side. Let's go ahead and finish these up, like so. Uh, the only thing is, is the air blade has to stay completely underwater. Now uh, we will have to turn stabilization off for it. And I would go wider, but I don't want it to be too big. Plus, the bigger it is, the, the slower it's going to be means more air blades so what I'm gonna do is uh, probably go into the options see if we can actually disable the voice because I think that's something we can actually do now because I don't need her to tell me it's cold and wet and raining all right uh, go up here like so and fill it in I'm gonna do the same thing on this side uh, it's a speed boat so we're gonna have to make this nice bright red we might have to get a little, uh, little bit of color, a few racing stripes on it and then what I'm going to do underneath is as many air blades as I can get uh, this actually might be a good size it could be like so uh, in this case uh, normally uh, when I finish when I finish the air blade it's going to be automatically adjusting itself and what I'm doing is, you can see the chevrons right down here, the little arrows pointing to the right. I want to make sure I have those pointing inwards. Uh, even though I've got it set up like that, because I have stabilization on, it's going to do this. So in order to fix it, i got to turn stabilization off. And then you'll be able to see the arrows point in. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we're using forward and backwards to, to basically steer it. Uh, we'll have to try a couple of modifications for as actual steering goes. But anyways, uh, let me get these two sides set up and I'll bring you back when we're ready to move on. Okay, here's what I got set up so far. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to redesign the steering because I think last time on the steering I had a second set in the back which was basically swinging back and forth. But the way I'm going to have this set up is going to be directional. Like so I'm thinking maybe the last four I might actually have these set to steering and see how that works. So I actually want to do this, do a bit of a test run with this. So I'm going to gonna do a save and then get it all wired up and configured and then we'll take it out and see how the steering works okay there she is 
And there's a little off balance there now. It's okay, I plan on putting two of these big generators on here. Just for kicks, make it look like big giant massive motors. Okay, so let's go up. Let's uh, uh, let's cut her loose. Might have to adjust the buoyancy on this. So far, it's looking good. Okay, put the gun away. Hop in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh jeez. All right, yeah, we gotta we gotta adjust the buoyancy on this. Okay, let's go up a little higher in the back then. Let's actually just bring the zoom in a little bit since we're not driving these big giant monstrosities. The steering does work, sort of. Let's actually get out of the shallows here into deeper water. Okay, so the steering sort of works like I wanted. What it's doing is it's sort of getting it to lean in. And that's usually how it goes. Oh. Except for hitting the rocks. <laughs> it's okay, we had it saved. All right, let's go back out here. But yeah, I think, I think that should work. Maybe if I reverse the steering on the front and back. Let's actually, let's try that. You can sort of see what they're doing here but it's just creating the lean. So let's go out and let's see if we can like reset the steering on these. Okay, let's see here. Okay, and then you will be reversed. I'll go to the other side, grab some air while we're at it so we don't suffocate, drown, whatever. Okay, two there and then one and one and one. Okay, let's hop in, nice and dry. Yeah, no, it's not steering at all. What's it doing? All right, well, let me take the first six off and see. I'll try it that way. Okay, so now we're only using the six in the back. And that's a little better. As long as we're in deep enough water, we should be good. Let my uh, view change a little bit. Uh, so there we go. So now we just fine tune it a little bit. I don't know what else I could do do for the steering. It is uh, kind of wobbly. And the steering only seems to work when I'm actually accelerating. All right, so uh, let me load up the save file. And here we are, I'm back to where I was. All right, I forgot to fill on the other side here. I'm um, using the slopes to try to keep the weight down. Um, we w I was having issues with it going nose up. Oh yeah, I loaded up the save file so it went red again. Uh, but that's okay because we still got to put the front end of this boat on. So we're going to have some weight in the front. I might have to adjust the buoyancy on the foundation a little bit. But we'll go from there. And yeah, so this is the side. Uh, I'm actually thinking about it. Let's do a nice uh, two of them. Uh, let's go up top here. Do that one, put the light on so we can actually see what I'm doing. And we'll get a little racing strike going down the side here. I do plan on putting a spoiler on here, but I'm sure you've already saw that from the thumbnail. At least I hope it's a thumbnail, good thumbnail. Let me know in the comments how it turned out. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. Okay, so that's that side. Um, I'll worry about the strap on the other side in a minute here. But now we got to start working on the front. So I'm more or less going to follow this contour, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Like realistically I should just keep the front flat, sort of like a swamp boat I guess it would be called. I don't know what the, the actual flat bottom boats are called, maybe that's what they're called is a flat bottom boat. I have no idea. I want to do something like this, I think. Not like that, but 
you get the idea. And then uh, decorate a little bit if I can. I'm going to see if I can start tapering in a little bit. So let me do a little bit of block placing and juggling here and see if I can come up with something that looks half decent. Okay. I have a bit of a basic hull, hull structure laid out. Got a little bit of Try to get a little bit of decoration on the side. You can't really see it on this side because it's dark, but there we have it. So now, now we just got to do a couple of final touches. One thing we need to do is because it's a boat, we got to a we got to have spoilers and b we got to have power. And I'm thinking originally I was going to use the large generators, but I think it might be better to use the small ones. Uh, as soon as I can find them, there they are. Looks like a container. And just for decoration, let's do it like this. Those, those will be our outboards. Uh, let's make those black, like so. And then we're going to get that nice big spoiler on the back here. I would probably, probably use these. Uh, of course, it's going to be red. And let's see. I'm going to start here, like so. Get up and off my feet here and I'm wondering if I should put a little ridge around here I think I probably should make it, make it look a little more like a boat uh, those will stay out but I will put just a one block border around this just for aesthetic purposes uh, as soon as I place things in the right spot and of course I will do this off camera and bring it back and I might as well get the spoiler done while I'm at it. Okay, so there we have it. We've got a spoiler, we've got a couple of outboard motors here. And now we need to make sort of like a, a cabin sort of. Actually, I'm wondering here. Let's, uh, what would be a good spot for the, the cockpit? Let's put it right here. Again, I'm doing the two by three. Again, I use all slopes with this just to make it a little easier, a little lighter. Uh, I know it's not going to really matter too much with the air blades. What am I looking for here? I am looking for a 2 by 3 rounded cockpit. If it wasn't upside down. And, of course, we'll make it red. And I'm thinking about... You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves a little, uh, little light bar here. So we'll go ahead and grab some conveyors, we'll take that and that, and we'll take the T-section as well. We'll grab some front mount lights, wherever they may be, there we go, and like so. So let's see, where are we going to put these lights here? Let's put them right here. Why not? Uh, should we have them on the rail? No, let's have them inside. And four will be high, good enough. I actually want something I can walk under. Go one more. And then we'll take the elbow. And go like so. And sure, let's go overkill. Oh my god, I'm out of frames. Who would have thought? Alright, I'm just going to run over here quickly. Uh, I'll be right back. I also forgot to point out, I put two more air blades in the front there just to accommodate for the extra weight. And I might actually put another one of these bars in the back too, just for the sake of it. So I'll do like that. And I'll get this nice big six floodlights in the front. Alright. Uh, what color should make this? What color am I at right now? Red. You know, let's go with this. Try to get like a kind of metal y color. Almost like stainless steel, for instance. Oh my god, so many batteries. And yet I have so many to go. Alright, now we get some lights on the front here. Alright, there we go. And then, like I said, I'll put one more of these in the back. And I, I think we'll probably just leave it there. We'll get out there and go do some cruising. What was it five? One, two, three, five. Okay. Yes, I know how to count. One, two, three, five. All right. 
and two, three, four, five, and like so, and just fill it in, and then we just gotta hook up the the power, get all the wire in, then we'll drop her down and take her for a spin. See how it goes. So I'm gonna finish this up quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready. So I got I split the split the fuel into two stacks. Even though it sounds like I just need one of these generators, but let's go ahead and do that. Now we just gotta, gotta lift up the anchor and sail away. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do a save first. Okay, now I'm ready. I was also noticing too, it's kind of confusing the, the way the air blades are spinning this way on this side and they're spinning this way on this side. But either way, oh, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, do over. Okay, class, do we know what happened there? I know what happened. Do you? Yes. I gotta adjust my buoyancy here, so I'm gonna keep it low on the back, keep it high on the front, just because I got that extra weight there. And I think I landed on a plant. Get rid of that. And I'll get rid of that and that. Oh, there's another one over there. And we'll get rid of that. Come on. There we go. All right, let's try this again. In fact, I'm gonna do another save, like so. And now we try it again. So hopefully, hopefully we have a stable, somewhat boat. I might actually have to put some weight on the bottom just to keep it from going all crazy on me. But, let's take it for a spin, shall we? Let's uh, zoom in a little here. I really do gotta pick up the speed on how, how much that changes. Yeah, as you can see, the added weight it makes it go a little bit slower. And down she goes. <laughs> All right, it's upside down. You know why? Because it's too top heavy. So I think what I might try to do is load up the save file and see if. Hmm. I'm almost thinking about putting a strip of ceiling tiles right about here, just to below the air blades. Or in this case, above the air blades. Okay, something like this. Fortunately, we don't have any water resistance, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, am I going to have enough room? I hope so. Let's, uh, oh yeah, hover mode doesn't work on the water. So we got to take that and that and that. So now we're having buoyancy issues. Major buoyancy issues. What can I do up here? Hmm. Made a little bit too big, I think. A little bit too heavy. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. And what's in the front? Front's all the way up. Wow. Hmm. Well, let's try that. I don't think it's going to do much. Let's uh, get in first, and then we get into third person. That's no, no, no! Don't, don't capsize. Yeah, that's the problem. It's too front heavy, and it does not want to drive straight. It's like all over the place. 
It's not like it's hit anything. Oh, there we go. Not as fast as the other one. Actually, believe it or not, the one with the hover pads works so much fast and better. Uh, I think it's because I tried to put a little bit too much detail into this, and with detail comes extra weight. But anyways, where is my flyer? All the way over there. Oh my god, this thing is actually quite slow. I admit the uh, conveyor pipes probably didn't need to be there. The front of the boat didn't need to be as big, but... You know, trying to make it look like a boat instead of just like a small barge. But, yeah, there is my uh, not-so-speedy speedboat. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I uh, hope it was a bit of a refreshing break from the usual stuff I've done. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Later.